Hi, this is Paul Gordon of State of Wake, and consider this a dose teaser. I wanted to make a quick commentary about Donald J. Trump and the prognostication for November. Donald J. Trump will win the election in November against Hillary Clinton, and he will do so with a landslide victory. He will win Pennsylvania, he will win Ohio, and he will win Florida. Those three states alone will give him the victory. The other states that he will win will be California and New England. Now, I have a few reasons for saying that Donald Trump is going to win in November. The first reason is anecdotal evidence. Not just myself, but a few others have related stories to me as well. Uh, I have a friend who owns a convenience store who deals with hundreds of people on a daily basis. And that friend has relayed to me how many people, Democrats, are expressing their intent to vote for Donald Trump in 2016. Now, if, if he's right, and I think he is, what you're really seeing is you're seeing a large group of Democrats who have not bought into the America is the great Satan narrative of the progressives. They've stayed in the Democratic Party despite the fact that it was taken over by progressives because, quite simply, they wanted the handouts, the goodies, the benefits, whether it's union backing or social services, whatever it might be. These folks are not part of the progressive wing of the Democrat Party. They're the blue-collar, lower-middle-class representatives of the Democrat Party who have been largely shut out of the Democratic Party for a long time. And Donald Trump comes along, and the very things that make him anathema to many conservatives make him attractive to these Democrats. So I believe that there is a, a much larger number of Democrats, people who haven't voted in years, that will be coming out to support Donald Trump. The other reason, and this is the reason that I think is more significant for those of us that follow true liberty. If you listen to G. Edward Griffin, and I'm, I've listened to a number of his videos, he, he posits the theory that all elections are essentially a way for the people who actually control the machine that is coercive enterprise, that is the state, so to speak, that they have came up with, they came up with a hundred or so years ago, a strategy to keep the masses in line and to gradually nudge the masses towards greater and greater control without using the, the costly measures that, say, the Marxists under Lenin and Stalin and, and employed, as, as well as uh, Mao Zedong and the Khmer Rouge and numerous others who have tried to use brute force to control the masses and put them where they want them put. His, his, his theory is that they manipulate elections in such a way that you feel like you have a choice. And they will nudge it along so far as far as taking away your liberties. And then they'll, they'll go back a little. This is the biggest reason that I think Donald Trump is going to win. Because in my heart of hearts, I believe that all elections are decided well before they happen. And I'm not saying that, I don't believe that they orchestrate everything exactly ahead of time, but they orchestrate for, orchestrate for certain acceptable outcomes. Donald Trump was an acceptable outcome. Ted Cruz may very well have been an acceptable outcome. Marco Rubio may very well have been an acceptable outcome. They allow for a certain amount of variable. And that variable is there 
to give you the illusion that your vote matters, that your choice matters. And so Donald J. Trump is the one step back, two steps forward, one step back in the march towards greater and greater control over you. What will happen with the Donald J. Trump presidency, and I'm going to predict he's only going to be a one-term president, and what comes after Donald J. Trump is going to be, well, back marching forward towards greater control. The powers that be, I, I, I believe, can, can survey the land and assess that, you know what? I think people are pretty much fed up. They're, they're at the edge of their rope. They're losing, 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 losing. And by the I won't say the people. I'll say a certain segment of people. The people that either are for individual liberty or believe that they're for individual liberty. And that'll be another video altogether. They need a win. They need to feel like they've done something. That Donald Trump will come in and he will, he will roll back on some of the advances that Obama has made. He will roll back on Obamacare. He will roll back on gun control. He will roll back on the SJWs and the feminists, uh, the third wave feminists, I should say, uh, and the whole political correctness speech. And in truth, I believe that the SJWs, the Black Lives Matters group, they've served their purpose, and now it's time to let them, well, let them at the mercy of Donald J. Trump. So what you're going to see, folks, is, well, what you're going to see is a Donald J. Trump win in November. You will see the Democrats make some strides in the House a little. They, I'm not saying whether or not they will win back the Senate. I'm not sure if it matters if they win back the Senate. In point of fact, most of the people in the Senate, whether they have a D or, or an R, are really in the progressive camp. Now, I would argue that everyone in America, except for a few exceptions, are actually in the progressive camp, but that's a matter of degrees. As far as the degree to which you are, you are really sold on the progressive ideology, I believe that the majority of, of senators are already in that camp. So it doesn't matter whether Democrats win the Senate or not. The progressives still control the Senate even right now. And then you will see a... 2018 election in which the Democrats get more vo more seats, and you are going to see Donald J. Trump basically sabotaged. You will see Donald J. Trump blamed for every single ill that happens in this country under his watch. There will be a one-year period where things look great, and then things start to go bad. And then in 2020, they will roll out a candidate, whoever that candidate might be, Maybe a Republican, maybe a Democrat, and that candidate is going to then reverse all of the reverses Trump made and then go beyond Obama. That's my prediction. I'm Paul, Gord Paul Gordon with State of Wake, and be sure to tune in because Monday, June 6th, we air the first official show the dose monday morning at 6 a.m june 6th